Welcome to Die Headlines. I'm Louisa Liu. Thank you for joining us. In Sichuan's Ponghua Village, city volunteers are entertaining the locals by teaching Jingsi aphorisms. City volunteers are taking great delight in hearing how the words and phrases of the familiar Jingsi sayings are transformed once they are adapted to the local pronunciation. Within these Mianzhu municipality tents, people are learning Jingsi aphorisms. These forthright Sichuan accents are music to Tsuji ears. Though the pronunciation is a bit different, it is irrelevant so long as these villagers learn the goodwill within. Tsuji is tilling this tent village with its humanism, teaching local youth to lead mothers and grandmothers, uncles and grandfathers in the Tsuji way. <laughs> in their activities here in Ponghua Village, Tsuji's relief teams aren't neglecting to display their humanist philosophy. They not only follow the Jingsi aphorisms, but also remember that this group of youth volunteers may be the ones who next reap this land's bounty. In the Sichuan disaster area, city volunteers are not only continuing with the medical and food relief, they are also responsible for keeping the children occupied. At the Yongxing Park, volunteers have organized daily activities for youngsters that include both lessons in city's humanism as well as games and exercise. The children both sign and sing to these elderly men and women. Here at Tsuji's Yongxing Park Medical Station in Luoshui Township, Children aren't bored. The Tsuji sisters and brothers are teaching them how to properly massage their elders and how that fits into a proper respect for the elderly. Singing and massaging away, the strength in the children's hands brings smiles of comfort and satisfaction to the faces of these seniors. Besides learning ideals of respect, volunteers also ask the youth to record their lessons in pictures. This picture was drawn by little Miss Yang. In it, she shows the earthquake's aftermath. People are frowning and sad, but after Tsuji volunteers arrive, her subjects begin to smile. Finally, we see the sign for gratitude. The changes are obvious. Our kids know to be grateful to their parents, to help around the house and how to interact with their neighbors, and to thank them and serve them. The children bow towards the seniors in greeting. These life lessons add both substance and humanity to our daily life. 